Uh, uh, Carolyn, could you uh, call the roll, please? Yes, I can. Mr. Vanderwerf? Here. Mr. Matsuno? Here. Mr. Hancock? Here. Mr. Henningsen? Here. And Mr. Stoner is absent. Yep. All right. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Today's meeting is a hybrid meeting. The public may access and participate in the meeting electronically. Instructions for doing so are posted on the Albemarle County website at the Albemarle County calendar. The public has real-time audiovisual access to this meeting over Zoom and real-time audio access over telephone, both is provided in the lawfully posted meeting notice. This meeting is being recorded and will be made available on the county's website. This meeting is a public record and subject to disclosure under the Freedom of Information Act. All speakers, when it is your turn to speak, please first state your name for the record. Applicants who are making presentations, note that your presentation is limited to a total of 15 minutes, which you can divide among your team members. Staff will let us know when the 15 minutes are up. If applicants in the meeting room have team members attending virtually who will need to present, please make that known when you come to the podium. Everyone who is participating virtually, please mute your microphone until it is your turn to speak. We'll move on to disclosures. Uh, do any ARB members have anything to disclose? No. 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 All right. Sounds like no disclosures. Um, are there any members of the public that want to make a comment about a project that is not on the agenda for review? I do not have anybody online. All right, great. Um, in that case, uh, we do not have any consent agenda items today. Uh, we do not have any work sessions. So we will move to our one and only regular review item, which is ARB 2024-43, UVA Community Credit Union New Headquarters. Uh, Chris, do you have your presentation? Yes, yes, it is. Uh, the application you're reviewing today is um, uh, uh, it's a review of architecture and site plan to construct the headquarters for UVA Community Credit Union, in addition to associated site improvements. The site is at 1201 Fifth Street, which is north of I-64 and west, west of Fifth Street. The ARB reviewed initial site plan involving building and site renovations to accommodate the same tenant. In, uh, in May of last year, the plan under review today replaces that plan. The existing building and the cell tower on site will be demolished to accommodate the proposed development or proposed building. To summarize the staff report, there are minor comments on the architecture and site plan that need to be addressed. Building elevations are composed of regularly spaced bays with slight slight projections and recesses. The projecting the projecting bays are clad with brick and topped with a pediment gable on the entry bay and a parapet with cast stone coping and an alum aluminum cornice on the window bays. The recessed bays are clad with metal panels and have a short cast stone base. All bays have regularly spaced windows and the aluminum panels separating the first and second floors. The forms detailing materials provide a strong connection to the historic architecture of the county. The changes to the site maintain an organized development um, plan. And the landscape plan shows new trees along the portion of the front edge that is adjacent to the project area. These trees meet size and spacing requirements, or, but are shown very close to the existing trees that are to remain. Adjusting the spacing of the proposed trees to accommodate the existing trees would be appropriate. Staff, staff recommends approval initial site plan without conditions and recommends the changes listed in the staff report be addressed with the final site plan submittal. I'd be happy to answer any questions you all may have. All right, uh, thanks for that presentation. Um, Dave, do you have any questions? Uh, thank you for the presentation, no questions. Uh, Tara? No, thank you, Chris. All right. No, I don't have any questions, thanks, Chris. I'm sorry, Chris, I don't have any questions either. Um, so if the applicant has a presentation, Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, members of the board. Um, 
My name is Andrew Moore with Globane Homes Architecture, Richmond, and we're the uh, architect of record for the project. Um, I don't think I have too much more to add to what the staff has already presented, so thank you for that. Um, just a few images here that may overlap with what you've already seen or may not. Uh, this is a site plan that shows a little more detail of the landscape and how the building fits into the landscape. Uh, it's adjacency to Fifth Street and the um, a really adjacency to the, the off-ramp from 64, as you can see it there. Um, the floor plan, the, it's an office building that is organized with internal um, closed spaces and ex largely external open office. So lots of uh, opportunity to connect the inside to the outside through the, the generous window openings. Uh, the elevations that were included with the packet, um, black and white here, but show the excuse me, the, the ordering of the exterior, the, the nod to um, uh, traditional and classical um, architecture, but interpreted with a more contemporary and modern uh, approach and materials. Uh, here's the rendering that was also included with the package, just showing the general character and feel of the building, um, a series of pavilions that are interconnected with the metal panel. Here's a site section um, that shows the elevation on the right of Fifth Street and then the dash line representing the, uh, the grade that is current and then where it will be uh, when, the, when the project is complete or more or less lowering the grade uh, to be with, uh, consistent with the lowest current level of the existing building. So the entire uh, building is now out of the ground instead of partially um, recessed. And then here's the illustration of the palette of materials. Um, simple palette, uh, we have two brick colors that are um, have corresponding cast stone uh, detailing and then uh, metal panel uh, and then the, the cast stone uh, um, coping on top of the parapet wall. Um, here are a couple of images that show before and after uh, simulating what um, the building will look like. So in, in, in context, so this is the uh, intersection there at 5th Street and 64. This is the current building, as you see it here. And then this is a, a simulation of where the building will be um, when it's complete. And um, that's all I have. I'm uh, happy to address any questions that you have. All right, uh, thanks a lot for your presentation. Um, start with uh, Tara, do you have any questions? No, I don't have any questions. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, Frank? I don't have any questions. Thanks. Dave? Uh, I think uh, I just had one question. I think actually probably the elevation corresponding to this view is the gabled form of the pediment front visible behind that tree and, and how does it relate to the overall um, parapet of the building? It's a little hard to tell in this image. So I'll go back to the, uh, the three quarter view. So we're looking at it uh, from Fifth Street. If you could see the building from Fifth Street, this is how it would appear. Um, so the, the gable is positioned in a way that it draws to the main entrance. Uh, so as you're coming from the parking lot across a pedestrian walkway where you see the, the figures are there drawn into the main public entrance uh, to the facility and then behind that is the public facing portions of the building. Thank you. And the gable form uh, stops at the wall that's behind it. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That was my question. All right. I don't have any questions. Um, but thanks for your presentation. Um, are there um, any members of the public that want to make a comment? I do not have anyone with their hand up. All right. Great. Uh, we do not have any in person. Um, members of the public. So the ARB will now go into discussion. Um, we'll start um, with Tara. Do you have any comments? I just wanted to say that uh, I appreciate the presentation as presented by the applicant. I think it's consistent with a lot of the uh, guidelines that we lay out in the ARB um, and that uh, it's a sort of appropriate response to an existing condition and um, that's there, it references that, but proposes something uh, more contemporary, appreciative of their uh, 
design work and uh, I don't have any issues um, about this project. Yeah, thanks, uh, Frank. Uh, I agree with uh, Taro. I think it's a nice application. Um, I think given the distance from the corridor and kind of the awkwardness of how you view it, um, I don't think it'll have that much of an impact on the corridor specifically. Un unfortunately, unfortunately, I think it'd be really nice if this was a building that was prominent on one of our corridors. Um, I think it's really nice. I think it's a nice use uh, or kind of retrofit for the site and reusing some of the, what appear to be reusing some of the parking lots or at least kind of staying within that footprint. Um, so I appreciate that. I think it's a really nice application. Thanks, uh, Dade. Sure, I'll, I'll add to the chorus of my colleagues and just say I think it's a very nice application and a, a nice proposal that I think relates well to the architectural precedents in our in our guidelines uh, and uh, appears to to use some very appropriate and hit some materials. So uh, excited to see it. I, I appreciate your observation. This would be nice to see more prominently on the corner. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah. All right. Thanks. And uh, yeah, I hate to sound like we're the the fan club, but but I I agree also, and uh, I think it's a uh, well done and will be a uh, great addition to the uh, entrance corridor. Um, so if we could uh, take a look at the recommended motion. So this is an initial site plan and a, a preliminary review of the architectural design. And I need to that. <laughs> Uh, our recommendation for the motion is to um, move to just forward the comments uh, listed in the staff report uh, to the agent for the site review committee. The um, included in those comments are the comments um, for the final site plan, um, assuming you want to see it all back again. Um, so that's included in there. All right. I guess I'll just ask if anybody has any tweaks or changes to propose to, to any of the any of the conditions? Uh, I don't. And actually, a question for staff and colleagues would be uh, if there's a pathway to grant a conditional certificate of appropriateness today that, um, you know, because I think the comments that are remaining from my perspective could be administered by staff. Sure. You could um, uh, make the motion we just talked about and then also um, just um, note that uh, we recommend approval of the um, final architectural design with these conditions. Okay. Um, I think that would be fine. If we find anything different as things move along, we can always bring it back to you. That'd be great. So um, in that case, uh, would anybody like to make a motion? I think Dade has to. <laughs> Let's see if I can state it correctly. So I would move for approval of a certificate of appropriateness of for the architecture of the project subject to the conditions listed in the staff report. And to um, uh, forward the recommendations in the staff report to the agent for the site review committee. Yes, please. I'll second. <laughs> All right, uh, if we could put that to a vote. Okay, Mr. Henningsen. Aye. Mr. Hancock. Aye. Mr. Mitsuno. Aye. And Mr. Vanderwerf. Hi. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot. So we'll move on to uh, other business. Um, approval of the July 1st minutes. Um, anybody want to? So moved. <laughs> I'll second that. <laughs> okay. Mr. Vanderwerf. Mr. Vanderwerf? Aye. Mr. Matsuno? Aye. Mr. Hancock? Aye. Mr. Henningsen? Aye. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot. Um, do any board members or staff have any other items um, to discuss? No. Great. All right. In that case, um, the next ARB meeting is scheduled for August 5th, 2024. Um, 
unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to attend that one. Um, I will also be away. I will also be away. I will also be away. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, we're missing out on something. <laughs> okay, we'll look at that agenda and see how we can uh, rearrange the items. Okay. Thank all you. Right. Thank you. Um, all right. So in that case, um, the meeting is adjourned until our next meeting at a yet to be specified time. Um, but we are adjourning now at one seventeen. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah.